Well, it was 50 years ago this month that I first finished up in this schoolhouse here, where the, they marched us from the railway station to this school, and then they took us from this school along this road. Oh, this is the Queen's Road. This is taking us down to, uh, well, years ago to to your right at the top here used to be um, the station, the railway station. Now, this is Victoria Road. Now, this is Milner Road. Kind of these houses on the right hand side were right here. The kids, they were all old houses. Well, where we're looking at now, there was a house here where I was first stayed at. There was me and another fella. I'd been last all that long, actually. We, we had a pillow fight one night, and uh, all the feathers went all over the place, so they split us up. And all this used to be uh, all really old properties. Now, these were the houses, or are the houses like they were all along this street once upon a time, but they've all been torn down. There's all our names somewhere on the brickwork over there. And I can't remember where now. More of our, my friends used to live over in them houses over there many years ago. Ronnie Butcher used to live up here on the left hand side. We used to all have our gang fights up this end. We are looking at now, there used to be a great big pond there. All bull rushes and everything else, and we used to go in there and catch newts and fish. Play that rows. And all along this way up there, right the way up there, used to be the railway line, used to take you up to the NNER station. This is where Tom and Tony Twitchett used to live and they uh, used to have a wooden fence around there and uh, we made up a trolley one day from railway wheels and went straight through the fence, broke it all up and it wasn't very popular. The building in the foreground is where we used to sort out peas many years ago for canning. This is Jimmy Neeks' mother's old house. This is where Jim lived all, most of his life. When I first knew him, I used to spend most of my time around there. This is another one of the schools I went to in Woodpeach. I must have gone to more schools in Woodpeach than any other person I know of. That was a Catholic school. This is all that's left of the old grammar school that I went to. Went with Jimmy and uh, several other little boys. This is a gymnasium, or what's left of it. The school hall. Hey, you say, Jim? Huh? You say? It was also the school hall. What was it? We all had to wear slippers when we came in to prayer, didn't we? There's some more of the grammar school. I should imagine when this was when this part of it was built. Right uh, now. Is it? Yeah, that, that was a car door and behind there were two or three classrooms. And the bit with the glass in the roof was a chemistry lab. Yeah. Right. And then you go along there to a, a main car door and the piece with the tall tear on in the back there was the library. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the left hand, I think that was a prefect room on the left hand side. The one on the right hand side was old man's study where I had 138 strokes. And across this side there was, was a staff room and uh, upstairs was the uh, physics lab. And then that was the headmaster's house.
The one with little white towers, the headmaster's house. That's right, yeah. This is looking from the main bridge into Walls Wiz Beach, and that's a Clarkson Memorial, is it? Yeah. Slavery, wasn't it? Yeah, you're free to say if you're born in Wiz Beach. This is flat on the side of Will before, so somebody else. <laughs> This is Norfolk Street, the main one of the main streets in this place. And this coils, we used to go there when we were fish, fish and chips. Where that place is now, we're looking at, there used to be a, a shop there that used to charge you accumulators. So I guess we used to run the radios in the world so This used to be fame made with his favourite cruiser in there. If you bought him a run in there, he was made. There used to be a cinema in, in this cell here that we're looking at. And he got hit by a bomb in the war. Quite a surprise for everybody in Newbury. On this side, there used to be our favourite uh, sweet shop, Powell's. This is an old hot stayed with Joyce here at this hotel for a weekend before he's married and there was no anchor of paint because there was a great big dog outside our outside our door I think that. That's Jim Lee and Brian. <laughs> 